welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 25 to the power of 2x plus 1 over 2 to the 2 minus x root equals 1 over 5. And now I'm first going to rewrite this as 25 to the power of 2x plus 1 over 2 to the power of 1 over 2 minus x. Because, remember, the root is the inverse of a power. So the inverse of 2 minus x would be 1 over 2 minus x. So I simply converted the root into a power. So this equals, well, I'm actually going to rewrite 1 fifth as 5 to the power of negative 1. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite 25 as 5 squared. And I'm doing this so that we can have the same bases on both sides. Now I have a base of 5. So 5 squared to the power of 2x plus 1 over 2 to the power of 1 over 2 minus x. And this is still equal to 5 to the power of negative 1. Now, if we actually have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is actually equal to a to the power of m times n meaning 5 squared to the power of 2x plus 1 over 2 is 5 to the power of 2 times 2x plus 1 over 2. And if we multiply these two, these two would simply cancel out, meaning we'd be left with 5 to the power of 2x plus 1. And we are still powering this to the power of 1 over 2 minus x. And this is equal to five, sorry, five to the power of negative one. Now we're gonna use the same property again on this one. So five to the power of two x plus one to the power of one over two minus x. And if we multiply these, we would simply get five to the power of two x plus one over two minus x equals 5 to the power of negative 1. Now, as you can see, both of these have the same bases, meaning the exponents here are the same as well. So we could simply write 2x plus 1 over 2 minus x equals negative 1. And now, as you can see, we have a simple equation. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to mul multiply these two. So we get 2x plus 1 equals negative 2 plus x. Now, I'm going to move the x's on one side and everything else on the other side. So I have to subtract by x on both sides to move x to the left side, and I'm subtract by 1 on both sides to move 1 to the right side. So 2x minus x is x, these two cancel out, equals x minus x, these two cancel out, and negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. So x is equal to negative 3. So now I'm going to go ahead and plug x in and check if it's right. All right, so we have the square root of 2 minus negative 3, which is simply 5. Remember, x is equal to negative 3, and we're just checking if the solution is right by plugging in x into this equation. So we have the fifth root of 25 to the power of 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, plus 1 is negative 5.
over 2 equals 1 fifth. Now, remember, this is the same thing as 25 to the power of negative 5 over 2 to the power of 1 fifths because the root is the inverse of the power. So the inverse of 5 is 1 fifths. Now, these two would multiply using our property from earlier. So negative 5 over 2 times 1 fifth is actually equal to negative 1 half. So we have 25 to the power of negative 1 half equals 1 over 5. Now, a negative exponent can be written as 1 over the positive exponent. So 25 to the power of negative 1 half can be written as 1 over 25 to the power of 1 half equals 1 over 5. Now, we can cancel these two out. So we would have 25 to the power of 1 half equals 5. And something to the power of 1 half is the same thing as the square root. So we have the square root of 25 equals 5. And the square root of 25 is 5. So we have 5 equals 5. And this is right, meaning x equals negative 3 is right. Thank you.